Hotel Bonada, Christ Gummery, more specifically, welcome to the Pavilion Theatre at Rill. Today is the day for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. I wonder how it will pan out. There seems to be quite a few bikes there. Hopefully later on we'll get a chance to go and have a look at them. Well, there you go. It's not a bad turnout for real. On Sunday the 21st of May 2023, 104,347 motorcycle riders from all over the globe rode in the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. Now that's not just men, that is ladies as well. It's just called that um, because one has to be dapper uh, when one's riding and they like you to ride a retro or classic style machine. This year, somewhere in the region of seven million dollars has been raised as part of the uh, gen distinguished gentleman's ride. And uh, I think that's quite remarkable. So this is really just how the real ride panned out. So why were we riding? Well, first of all, um, we were riding to support Movember. That's the uh, men's health charity, um, trying to put funds into supporting the battle against prostate cancer. Then of course, there was also funds go towards men's mental health and suicide prevention because suicide is the biggest cause of death I think for under 45s in men. And also in veterans and first responders programmes money's also gone towards there. So it's a worthy cause and uh, it's close to quite a few people's hearts from what I can gather. Um, certainly was for me people I spoke to um, also felt quite strongly about it and had some really personal stories to share. Surprisingly given that North Wales isn't particularly heavily populated there were 82 riders registered for the real ride. Try saying that when you're drunk. And they raised somewhere in the region of eight and a half thousand pounds, just under eight and a half thousand pounds. Um, the ride was only a short ride, surprisingly enough. Um, only from the real theatre we were set off, down the coast road, which is where you can see us riding at the moment. And um, finally ending up to Clandidno Promenade. And there all the bikes lined up and we were actually individually greeted by the Lady Mayor which I thought was a very nice touch by her. Uh, and the crowds were very supportive all along the route. Um, I've tried to pick out, I don't think it's very successful, uh, but I have tried to pick out some of the people that waved at us and cheered us along. Uh, lovely atmosphere, a lovely day as you can see weather wise uh, and I hope you enjoy looking at the bikes and the sights we experienced. Uh, yeah. Enjoy. As you've probably already noticed, the start of the ride uh, in Rill essentially took us along um, the seafront, but it's still quite urban. Uh, but nevertheless, managed to see a few people and promote the cause. Hopefully we created quite a good impression uh, before we arrived at our first stop.
seemed like only a few moments we'd arrived at our first regrouping place um, the idea being that should the ride have got separated we'd all be able to regroup together uh, and it provided an opportunity for us to chat and admire each other's bikes and there was also a car meet there at the time so uh, we could also admire some of the uh, many machines there magical powers of television this is actually the second stop uh, we've been back through Abigella and uh, we're now in Colwyn and we're just making our way back to Llandidno As you can imagine there's quite a queue of us trying to get out, it was very busy here. Um, one of the things we noticed that was really lovely was the way other road users blocked the roads for us. It made it really easier for us to uh, keep together in one convoy. Here we're just coming into Hros. Um, I will be editing out a bit of this part because, um, quite frankly, a car got in the way. Enjoy the public lavatories. What a wonderful sight. The picturesque North Walian public lavatories. Marvellous. Um, yeah, so uh, there will be a bit of a cut out because um, someone decided to come and drive in the middle of the queues. So we lost... Um, a bit of continuity there, but never mind. Uh, and here, there's a little bit of a diversion where they're doing lots of refurbishment work on the West Promenade. So, yeah, very nice. That's going to be lovely when it's finished. It's been many years they've been working on the prom. And uh, it, it's looking splendid. It's going to look even better when it's finished. One of the things I was looking at was the fact that we're going to see palm trees around here. Quite surprising, really. Oh, look, palm trees, there you go, as if, as if by magic. Who'd have thunk it, eh? I know what I'm doing, I'm an expert, me. Anyway, I'll let you enjoy the ride and uh, hopefully we'll be arriving in Atlantic not soon.
interrupt this broadcast to say, look at the old fashioned sign on the left hand side. Isn't that retro? After the old sign, we came down along the road into Llandidnol. Isn't it amazing, some of the architecture, we've got Art Deco, we've got the turrets, the round windows. That sounds like place school, doesn't it? Anyway, lots of really interesting architecture. Really nice. flaming roundabouts than Milton Keynes. Still makes it more fun I suppose, better than straight lines. One of the joys about riding through the centre of Llandidno was the fact that we actually got quite some waves, some admiring uh, glances, some comments even, quite positive comments, especially from the younger generations. Um, hopefully they'll grow up and become motorcyclists themselves, assuming that hobby isn't banned before they uh, are old enough. He can see me being a good boy. I'm actually following the highway code. In, Bus is indicating to pull out, I'll let it pull out. It's not exactly the best view of the Great Orm up there, just to the right of the bus, but hey ho, it's the best I can give you. And what we're going to do now is we're now going to go round to the right, you can see the other bikes. Oh look, palm trees, way! Uh, round here, a uh, very nice VW camper there, and then we're going to be going backwards onto the prom.
rocky last long, did it? Never mind. I've got to say, some really nice bikes. Now this is where it got a bit complicated. Coming down here, we had to get onto the promenade. I wasn't quite sure where we were supposed to be going, and it wasn't really marked. Uh, but hey ho, you'll see me now, nearly overshooting it, but never mind. Taking part in the 2023 Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. I told you it was worth waiting for. Distinguished Gentleman Ride Real 2023.